Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming, and we are hopping back into Firewatch. I am pretty sure this is going to be the last episode. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, I highly recommend you click out of this video. Go check them out on my channel. We have had quite the suspenseful journey here with Henry, and I don't want you to have the whole entire game ruined, because it has been... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea, but we're about to find out. Let's go ahead and call in the wave receiver this beeping. Receiver just pick something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You got to find out. All right, I'm on my way now. <sighs> I don't like that. You know what I just picked up? Bottle uh, no. of whiskey. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. <laughs> Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. Yeah. Hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. <laughs> my thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. <sighs> I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Uh okay, radio off. So we got some site reports. We got our toolbox over here, report on Henry, the report on Delilah. If you guys again didn't check out that last episode for day 76, go back and check that out. Um, we're going to pick up our wedding ring and we're going to put that back on. Uh, of course we are. Let's put that back on there and we're going to pick this up. Um, I guess we can't carry it with us. We'll put that back down. All right. Anything we need in our tower before we take off? Uh, I don't think we need any of it. Got plenty of food stuffs. Our bedding is back. Perfect. All right. And let's grab our pack and head out the door. Okay, there's the flapjack fire over there, and then over this way, can we see it? Uh, no, but it is getting awfully smoky around here. Let's hop on down here. I don't think we can see, there's Delilah's tower. We can't see the other fire. <sighs> okay, down here, let's get out our... So let's head, let's head this way? No. Where is the right direction? I think we need to, yeah, we're going to head this way. There we go. We're heading in the right direction. I think. I think we need to go around these rocks here. It's kind of that way, yeah? Let's check our map here. Ooh, it's a little dark. We got our flashlight. There we go. Um, so maybe the medicine wheel area? I don't, I don't know. Let's head towards like medicine wheel and see what happens there. Let's pull this guy back up, get our jog back on. As we head this way, leave me a comment on down below what you guys think's happening. It's getting crazy here in Firewatch. I still got some uh, here's hairs standing up. I, not that you guys care, but uh, film we'll be filming both episodes in a row. So for me, this is this is pretty crazy right now. Um, do I need to go back this way? Let's go back this way. This, yeah. All right, we're going to head around here. Oh, it's really going off now. Okay, let's clear these bushes. Why are we... All right, let's try this again. There we go. Let's clear through here. Oh, wait, what? Is that a backpack? That's another backpack there. Oh, we're going to get sucker punched or something. It's it's certainly going off. We're we're at it. Um, what's that say? Something something storage cave. <gasps> That's the cave key. With uh, smash that alarm box. Oh, they wanted us to do that. Oh, those tricky people. Oh. Wow. So they know we took the backpack. We're gonna get the key here. They want us to go in there. Someone wants us to go in the cave. That key's been missing for two, what'd she say, like two years? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. 
light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics. But it was alarm. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah. yeah it is. That key's been missing for a while. What the hell took him? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Yeah, not great. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. No, I am not back in my I'm tower. In my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Nope. It is they lured me down here to get all that stuff. To the cave or to my tower? Get back to the lookout. Ugh. This game. What is going on? All right, let's. We were running. Okay, come on, Henry. I need you to run a lot faster here. Whew, okay, I am getting a little spooked here. All right, back up the path. Something's making noise. We haven't heard that elk or anything recently. God, I feel like I'm about to get jumped. Is that a person behind that box? No. Okay. Um, ooh, that safe symbol just went off. Okay, let's. Oh, God, that owl. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we're we're getting closer. Getting closer. Hop over that. Where's my tower? Uh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? There's the base of the tower. Do you see anyone up there? I don't see anyone up there. I don't see anyone running away either. Um. All right, let's go to the stairs here. Two forks lookout. Is that person? Hey, is that person still up there? No, he's gone. All right, I'm close. I just. I didn't want to run into him. Yeah. Look, be careful. Let's I'll see what he head. took. Did he take everything? He probably he probably took the transceiver or whatever that black box was. There's the fire. Okay, no one in here. Uh empty lookout. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Ooh. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> well, let's see what's on it. He's not wrong. Let's play it. See what message they have for us, for Henry. Oh my God! They already have us. Oh, they edited it. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. B, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh, my God. What the fuck is happening, Henry? Day 78. Okay, moving right along. Wow. I... Oof. I don't know what's going on. We're running out of batteries on that thing. What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Hmm. Um. So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation. Everything we just we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose. 
suppose you're right. I know. Okay, let's uh, let's make our way down to the cave. It's getting a lot smokier out here. That flapjack fire is getting pretty big. Can we see the other fire out by the Wapiti station? No, we can't. All right, hop down our stairs here. Oh, okay. This has got to be the end. Let's go find the cave. Um, so we are here. I need to go kind of this way. We got to hop down that one thing. Jonesy Lake. No, I want to go It's on the other side of the outhouse. You would think for as much as we've been playing this game, I would kind of know where we're going at this point in time, but apparently not. Um, all right, there's the outhouse. There's our generator. So let's go past this. And we're going to go down this way, the way we came up where we originally saw that one man on the first episode, the first night. Well, not the first night out here, but the first night in the tower. So let's go ahead and start hopping down these rocks here. Get to this cave here sooner rather than later. Uh, hop down here. Oh, long fall. Glad Henry's 38-year-old knees can take that because my almost 30-year-old knees probably couldn't at this point. All right, we're just going to run down this trail here. Because <sighs> I think the man was like right here, right? Yeah, I think he was right here. We were still way down in the canyon when we saw him. You... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself no, we didn't. how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. That's not going to happen, though. Here's the cave. Let's get our flashlight on here. Okay, we'll call it in that we're here, and then we'll keep moving. Oh, no, we don't even get to call it in. Let's unlock the gate. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. Here we go. End of end of Firewatch, I think. All right, we're just gonna work our way down this. What? No, 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 no. Did that just close on us? Someone just closed the gate, and oh man. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? She Delilah! probably. Send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Jesus. Wow, okay. Um they really want us in here. So let's um let's see what's going on. Long Jesus, steep drop. This is a big cave. No, we're not going that way. Um okay, let's see if we can create a path this way. Shafts of light. Uh, so there's some outside. Oh, we could knock those rocks down. Let's squeeze through here. We're not going to go down that long drop just quite yet if we don't have to. I would prefer for us to keep Henry in one piece. All right. Oh, the Pulaski. That was the name of the axe. Another little rock bridge we got to jump. Ooh, that's that's a long fall there. Definitely don't want that. Okay, and that didn't crack like the last time. here. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, we could climb out of that. Yeah, you could climb out of that. That's not terrible. It'd suck, but you could do it. Okay, let's hop up here. There's our wedding ring. Glad we put that on. Another... Nope, not going that way. Okay, let's keep going this way. Whew, what do you guys think is going to happen? Comment on down below, because I have no idea why these people are following us. We're just out here trying to mind our own business. I'm assuming it's governmental. It's got to be. I mean, I kept mentioning federal. Okay, we got some trees down here, so there must be some sort of shaft of light. There it is. Oh, man. I feel like something's about to happen. Oh, we're coming out into the fire. Um, long drop down. Where are we at? Let me pop up our map here. Okay, so we're kind of near some water. Hawk's Rest. That was that burnt cabin. Okay, so I bet you we're going to come down. If you guys remember from that second episode where that area I was trying to get up into, I bet you you will uh, remember where we were at. Are you there? Because that's the phone wire. Nothing yet because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? 
No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, y so you didn't find anything? No. no th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Ooh, what is this? Does sound dangerous. Is this Brian's hideout? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. It was. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> you know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Schematic. Okay, we gotta explore all this. Let's start with this banner here. He's in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Put that back. Old can of paint. Let's pick up the handmade sign. Uh, we got quite a bit of stuff here. So let's go and put that sign down very gently, apparently. Wizards and wyverns. Uh, let's go ahead and call that in. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Yeah. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I. Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. <laughs> Not that it ended up mattering. Alright, let's take a quick read of this. Uh, he had a good... Unintelligible nerd stuff. Okay, that's not very nice, but we'll go ahead and hold on to this. We've got a note to Rangers. Uh, Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. And he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him and... Pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Hmm. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. All right, let's read this note here. Dear Ranger, my name is Brian Goodwood. If you have found this note, it could be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. All right, so we, oops, let's hang on to that. We're going to go ahead and take those climbing anchors. Thank you, Brian. They look a little rusty, but they'll, they'll serve us well. All right, and then let's go ahead and take the ham radio diagram. We'll call There's that in. A ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. All right, and then let's just take a quick peek at this. Oh, okay, not much there for us to read. We'll hang on to that as well, and let's call that postcard There's in. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad, and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Oh, there's a little dinosaur. Oh. All right, let's take a read at this. Dear Mr. Zachler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. 
I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Okay, let's go ahead and hang on to that as well. Uh, old pillow seat cushion. You made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. <laughs> that little shit. Dinosaur, let's pick that up. Ah, oh, little T-Rex here. Drop that back on the ground there. We already looked at the sign. We've read those books. Um, let's put the banners up, shall we? Why not? I mean, Brian really wanted these banners, so let's give it the good college try here. Um, put that one up there. And then let's put this one up there. Okay, nice. Um... Let's just check all this. Oh, there's a comic book. Okay, we'll go ahead and drop that book and call that in. We hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Hmm. That's fucking dark. All right, let's pick up these hand-drawn schematics here. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay, let's hang on to that. I already looked at that. Science homework, and let's pick up the school folder and call I that in. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. And we'll hang on to that. And then let's take the science homework here. Um... Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Huh. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait. Are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying... Can we climb I'm back up in pretty, here? Uh, no. You know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular road scholar. <laughs> nice. All right, well let's um let's go back around and head into the cave, and we'll go down that long drop. I suspect now that we got some ropes and the uh, the anchors there. All right, so through Brian's little hideout again. Let's hop up here, and uh, we'll hop down. Is there like a climbing anchor I need to put in or something? Here we go. Drive pavement into crack with our Pulaski hatchet, throw some rope down, and let's go ahead and rappel down there. All right. So yeah, this is where we were looking at last time, and I was trying to figure out how to get up there. Okay. What do you think is in there? In the cave? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah. No, no but we I need to. I'm probably good. Bring on jail. You'd probably just get probation. I'd be the one stuffed away in the Lusk women's prison for the next ten years. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the cavern here. Down this trail and up over the crest of the hill and that should put us put us there oh, uh, also those girls turned up looks like you didn't kill them nobody did they took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail <sighs> dodged a bullet there yeah we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for I'd say <laughs> okay back into the scary cave here Let's uh let's do round two, shall we? Maybe we should wedge a rock in here this time so they can't lock us in. Then again, I guess we know how to get out. Alright, let's see if they slam us in again. It wouldn't be very nice of them. Okay, nothing nobody locking us in. Here we go, cracking rock. Drive our our uh repelling lock into there, and then we're gonna Climb on down the long drop. I don't see any cameras. Nothing's beeping at us. 
A lot of shale. All right, we are at the bottom here. Um, okay, and let's go this way. A lot of root systems, it looks like. No ominous music yet. Pop up here. And down here. Clipping through the roof, that's okay. We got another, we got some soot or something. No, that's just a little cave moss or something. All right, we'll jump down. Oof. Uh, anything around here? Nothing I see. And then we'll drop down here one more time. <sighs> what is Henry going to run into? Okay, so we got stuff further down there. Can't go that way, so this way it is then. Here comes the music. So we must be getting close to where we need to be. Uh, there we go. I don't know, Henry was getting caught up on something. Nice. Oh. That's... There's something here. Um, oh, shit. That's a body. Fell in. Wow. Oh, God. It looks like a boy. God. Kid. Woof. Ugh. We can't call this in? Well, Delilah probably can't hear us right now. Ah, poor... Mm. That's why Dad ran away, probably. Okay. Deeper into the cave we go. Wow. That's a... That's... That's something. That's not what I expected. I was thinking like some government like surveillance equipment or something. Were they just trying to get us to find the body so they can arrest the dad? I feel like that's a lot of effort and work for for that. No, there's got to be something else down here. All right, let's keep going this way. Wow. All right, looks like we can climb up over here. All right, hop this rock here. And we'll hang our corner here and up over this rock and drop down. One more time over here, it looks like. A lot of work. And drop down. And a long drop. And okay, we're outside the cave. I, uh, I thought we were going to find, like, I don't know, secret government equipment or something. Not not Brian Goodwin's body like that's that's not how this why why would it do that okay a lot of smoke here as we come up let's uh we gotta call Delilah and tell her what's going on hey D there you are I've been worrying my ass off <sighs> hey you um might want to take a seat I've been sitting this entire time I'm almost always sitting what's what's wrong the only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. Huh? How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Whoever is out there did it. They killed him. Can we just put this stupid shit aside for a minute? That boy is dead. He was just a sweet kid. They didn't kill him, okay? Why kill a boy? I don't know. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Okay. Wow. Not... like I said, not what I expected. 
let's yeah pack all of our stuff up here um yeah who is listening the folder um postcard let's open our desk drawer here can we take the book no let's you see that plane oh we're gonna take no, our photo just busy packing up well there's gonna be a lot more the service says this thing is two percent contained well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster they're renaming it after my lookout you about packed up shouldn't we talk for a sec you know about things about what about what happened to brian i don't have much to say i'm fine i'm sad i'm whatever I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Oh, Until we're then, chirping now. Follow that signal, maybe. Holy crap! Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. God, smoke. Okay. Yeah. Um. Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Hmm. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Okay, I think we got everything. We took the photo, we took the tape, we got cards. I can't take any of the other evidence. No, it's not letting me grab anything else. Uh, we'll take the tracking device. All right, I think that's that's everything. Oh, let's, here we go. We haven't taken any photos this entire time. Take some photos of that, and then let's back out of that. Okay, out we go. God, that smoke is that smoke is something. But I guess the game is called Firewatch. It wouldn't be a <laughs> wouldn't be called Firewatch if there wasn't actually a fire. So let's um let's see where we need to go. This way it looks like. We'll follow the signal down the path here. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Guys, comment on down below. Sorry, I don't know what else to say at this point. I think we need to take a left up here. Um, no. More that way. Okay, let's go back this way then. Keep our run on here. Some of these trees fell since last time? I can't tell. Let's go back over here. There's the supply catch. So we're heading out to Jonesy Lake. Uh, kind of this ish way. It's getting a little quicker on the beat. Okay, let's check out the map here. So I think up and around. Okay. Let's keep going this way. I think I went the wrong, long way around, but that's okay. Yeah, we need to head this way. Another plane flying overhead. I'm going to sneeze here. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump cut, and I will see you guys when something happens. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's, it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north, far, past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Okay, so we're getting out of here soon. But we gotta figure out what this beep is. We're getting close. We are getting close here. 
Oh, that raccoon. Wasn't the raccoon over here? Why'd we put it away? Oh, ha! Walked right past it. Henry, climb up. Uh, we might as well call it Someone in. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. This is getting deep. Okay, can we take the cassette? Can we play the cassette? That's my next question. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and... This Ned? I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and... Delilah... She's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and... That's right when everything went shit house with you two. You guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him, all right? We were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Whoa. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. He... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Okay, let's call some of this stuff in. he's been dumping trash up here for a while. And then we got a hatch. No, we can't call it in. Let's, I'm assuming this is his house, or his shelter. He has quite a bit of stuff in here, wow. Get our flashlight on here. Some bed rolls. Uh, wizards and wyverns. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Okay, so he loved his son. A Father's Day card. Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Hold on to that. Let's call in the photo. He's a nice looking kid. Yeah. Read photo up, oh, okay. A missing persons fire. Hang on to that. Alright, what else? Old battery. Some food stuff, socks, list of supplies. Let's go ahead and read that. Winter needs 89. Summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. Okay, we're going to hang on to that. Uh, what do we got over here? Top writer, research site info, pick up. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. Okay, let's hold on to that for evidence. Um... Call this in too. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. No response. Okay, we'll take that. Old typewriter. Some camping stuff. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, okay. 
traits guilty for Henry. Okay, let's go ahead and take this. And Delilah didn't even make it. Okay, hang on to that. Report. Let's go ahead and read this one. Passive forthright. No kids. Abandoned wife of 11 years. Would not be missed if removed. Wow. Okay. What'd that say at the bottom there? Sergeant got. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna hang on to all of this here. So there was there was some things going on here. Nice workbench. You see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't Trackers. know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. She's not wrong. Let's take some photos of this here. More stuff. Some firewood. Some more junk. Battery bank. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. <gasps> this boombox looks familiar. From the girls. No response again. Alright, let's, um, let's take a photo of this. And all the smoke. There's Delilah's tower. Lawn chair. He had quite the view. Uh, just for old time's sake, let's go ahead and uh, clean this up. Cleaned all up all the other beer cans. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Okay, let's take a photo of that. And then uh, back out. Good one's view, Delilah's Tower. Oh, Two Forks Tower. He could see my lookout. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out. And then we will um, take a photo of this as well. Take a photo of some of the other stuff. And for funsies, let's take a photo of the fire. All right, so now we got to head up to Delilah's Tower, and I think that'll be the end of the game. Wow. Um, unless we bump into Ned here, and he tries to, like, assault and or kill us here very soon. We should probably grab a photo of of this. All right, and let's, um, let's hop down this rope here. That's... That is not at all what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be some sort of like government, spy agency, CIA, FBI. Not, not a dad, not a, a a person, you know, running from his past. From a, at least from what he told us, um, you know. So I could go up that way, or we could go back up and. All right, let's do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut till we get something a little closer, and I will see you guys in a little bit.
I think, I think that Ned loved him. He still had his photo, you know? I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> e? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. We need to move. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. What? We don't get to meet her? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah? I mean, it's dangerous here, and, and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me, so... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, um, you sure that's okay? I said it was. Alright, um, I should go. Have a safe flight. Alright, have a safe hike. Alright, so just down and then around by the cave here. Okay. Back into the cave for one last, one last visit. We could go say hi to, or bye, I guess. All right, through here and then up, up the mountain, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. We're doing good. Oh, top over this. All right. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut, and I'll see you guys when something else happens. All right. We are coming up on the little pulley cable car here. Let's hop into this. At the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? No, she's already on the helicopter, Delilah. my man. All right, let's pull ourselves across. Now, if you guys have never used these, they're actually pretty cool. I used this something very similar out in Vancouver Island when I did a backpacking trip out there. God, it's been five or six years now. It, it, they're kind of cool. They're fun. Gets you across the ravine, and there we are. Um, there's our symbol. The firewatch symbol. I'm assuming we... I don't know. Did it just automatically bring us up here? Because I don't see the cable car. Guessing we came up from down here. Let's hop to our map here. Oh, we don't even have a map anymore. Well, let's head back down here and see... I just want to see what it looks like. We've never been up here. And, oh, it blocked it off. Okay. So let's go back this way. As the game wraps up here, guys, again, give me your final comments. Let me know what you think happened, or we know what happened, but, you know, give me your final thoughts. It's, I hear the helicopter, or is that a plane? That's a plane. Um, you know, that's <laughs> not what I, I thought it would be. Uh, just a weird, I shouldn't say, I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, I am for a lack of, lack of words at this point. Let's check out Delilah Tut. Delilah's tower here. Looks like it's the same. I wonder if she left us a note or anything. It's a little nicer than ours. Um, some sort of gambit. Someone's gambit. Okay, we'll put that back down. Turn that little desk light on. Let's see if we can make a final Hello? call. Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. 
Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Come to Boulder, move to Santa Fe. I think you'd make a good shrink. Um, no. Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a jade emporium with your sister. Hmm. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. <laughs> I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could have done. We shouldn't focus on this summer. The next year will roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I, you too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. <laughs> uh, we're gonna... We, we gotta take this drawing. That... The bottle of tequila. No, we'll put that back. We... We don't need the tequila. Anything else? No. Let's head on down to the helicopter here. Making all sorts of noise. Alright, down we go. Oh, there was a binoculars so she could look out and see us. Oh, man. What a game. I really enjoyed it, guys. Um, I mean, it wasn't anything super crazy but what a good story it kept us on our toes the entire time i really liked it i'm so glad i could play it with you guys here on tooth and scrubs gaming as we head into the helicopter don't forget to like the channel subscribe and come on back and we'll see you in the next game as we hop on the helicopter here thank you so much and i'll let the game play us out